Hey guys, welcome to another video diary of our trip in Hollywood. Uh, today we kicked off with on-camera classes with Tim Craig. We ran through a script that we got a couple of days ago. And yeah, we all did that in pairs. Now this is very good, you guys. Again, you've got to create... Hello. Hello. You've got to create the story behind it or there's nothing. Right? You know, it's just, it's just words. And we're rolling camera. And action. Well, the guys were... The guys? Why are the guys looking at my laundry? They're not. We're done. I'm breaking up with you. No, no. I didn't hear it. <gasps> well, in that case, I'm breaking up with you! But I think you're going to try to use your imagination. You're not going to deny what it is, because you're, you're right. But I think, you know, what it represents, hold it. And then it was on to voice classes with Paola, and we focused on the US accent and all the dialects around that. It's very interesting and it was a lot of fun. And then tonight we watched a movie, uh, Stan Here's movie. He's a director, writer, and actor. And this is also Brian, he's an actor and he's also an editor. And, and a brave man. And a very brave man. <laughs> so. Both films that we've seen of his look at the idea of communication and the idea that not communicating can is really the source of many problems. If not, it's it's a lot of problems, yeah. yeah. It's about how, well, what we say and how it's received, as opposed to how it's received. We also found with um, both of the films that we saw of stands that they're very relatable and he's, I think he's really good at writing. Films like that, and yeah. He's gonna be my next movie now. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Good American accent. Good American accent, dude. Yeah. Your focus on communication, does that, would, is that for you um, based on the idea that you, would you, for example, see yourself as a writer primarily? Yeah, yeah, I'm a writer, I think. No, well, I'm an actor, but the writing is kind of a. Uh, it's actually making me a lot of money right now, so <laughs> the writing's propelling things, yeah. and uh, I guess communication is a big part of writing. So, but I, I don't think that's the influence for for the theme. I think the theme of communication has always been something that's important to me, because um, I feel like a lot of issues, even today, politics. You know, mm. it's all about communication and how it's heard and how it's received. Sometimes somebody, you uh, know, one side and one politician will say one thing and people will look at it and they'll make it into anything they want to, you know what I mean? So, you know, are people really communicating about that? I think that at the bottom of everything is communication. Sometimes it's just a plain out, flat out lie. It's still communicating, it's just communicating a lie, you know? Yeah. So, power of words. Words are very powerful, you know? Uh, and if they weren't, then we wouldn't have Shakespeare, we wouldn't have Tolstoy, we wouldn't have, you know, all the other people that we mentioned in the film. <laughs> and Brian, obviously Stan's very experienced, he's got experience in like lots of areas. How did you find working with him? What was that like? It's the most difficult thing in the world. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I mean, we're friends, so it was really easy. Like, a, I, I did my first, like, actual crew thing with you on yeah. the line. And so, yeah. I mean, started off as a PDA, and then mm. his next three films, I helped him out. Now he's the lead. Yeah, and then he decided to do a film with me, and like just, I, that was the biggest thing. That's learning, nice learning thing. how, you know, how he talks or yeah. just how he gives direction. Just watching him give direction on different films is really easy to understand how he communicates with his actors. And then when we worked on our film together, yeah, it just everything clicked. Everything just we knew exactly how to talk and communicate. There's a lesson in that too. In that you know, uh, someone comes to me and wants me to do something for them. Um, it's not that easy because you're really busy and everybody wants something, everybody wants a leg up and everybody wants help. But, you know, Brian was always doing things, helping out, without even being asked, you know, he was always there. So, you know, there is something to be said about having a great work ethic and always being able to volunteer. And not doing it looking to get something in return, doing it because you love it. 
if you do, you know, there's a magnetism to that. People are attracted to passion. If you're passionate about helping out on a film set, you know, then people are going to want to do something for you. Because for me, once I see that, you know, and it's not, you know, there's another part to it too. I mean, what I would do for him would depend on what he's capable of too. The fact that I gave him a lead in the film indicates that he's also a good actor. So I'm going to help him with his acting because he's helping me with my film, you know, on crew and just participating and stuff. If he was more of just an editor, then I would give him an opportunity to cut. But uh, the fact that he's the lead in Love Is you know, basically means that I have a lot of regard for his, for his ability as an actor as well. Thank you so much for your time. It was a pleasure. It was a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>